Now let's take a look at display layouts and workspace options. Each monitor has the ability to have several different views and screens within it. I can click the monitor number indicated here on monitor one, and it brings up my layout options. We default to one screen, a full workspace, or there's several other choices we can look at. If I do a split screen, this takes me into two frames. Each frame can have separate tabs within it. In this example, we have our live display on the left and we'll have our patch display on the right. I also have the option to resize these frames using our resize tool. I can make patch smaller or larger as necessary. Once I'm done, I just click off of that arrow and that's my new display. We can have up to four different frames on any monitor at a time. If I need additional views, each monitor has three separate workspaces that I can have access to. So I can move to my second workspace and I effectively start all over again with my display options. Maybe this one only has one display on it. I can click back to my first workspace and it's just how I left it. And again, within each frame, I can open up as many tabs as I need to. Switch back to my other workspace. Come back here. This is useful as you go throughout your programming, depending on you may need different views for different times or if you mean to make edits to one section quickly while being able to get back to where you were with the push of a button. I can also change the workspaces of all monitors simultaneously by holding down tab and using my page up or down buttons. Now all my monitors went to workspace two, workspace three, back to workspace one. I also have the option to reset this workspace, or I can reset all monitors and all workspaces with the click of a button here. This will take you back to the factory default display settings.